I do not agree with everything you say. Hey guys, it's John here on a Saturday morning, and it is dusted with snow outside. You see how bright that is when I open that curtain? Push it back over there. <laughs> um, I uh, I wanted to hop on and make this make some videos this morning to try to keep my uh, self ahead, as I've been telling you all. Uh, I found it interesting the other day. Someone was kind of shocked that I don't literally make each video every day. Um, I absolutely make a lot of videos, but. Uh, it helps me tremendously to put the videos uh, in, in queue. And there are some days I'll come into the studio and I'll make four or five videos in a shot. And what that does is that, that frees me up to put more time into my private sessions and other things I need to do. Um, so I, I'm kind of leveraging time early so I can have time again later. So, um, so if you're seeing a video that uh, where I <laughs> where it's say March, and I'm saying uh, it's fe it's February, uh, it's because it was February when I filmed it, and it's March when it aired. Um, yeah, some people get really uh, kind of um, put out by the fact that I'm not putting them out, making them every day. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just wanted to give me completely honest and upfront with you guys. I make my videos, which by the way, I never, I never, ever, ever script my videos on the main channel on the recovery recovering catholic channel i will um i will create an outline of what i want to talk about so that i have that to work from but uh but i never prepare anything for for the john of new channel i just honest to god speak my truth uh to what's being asked so let me um let me look over here and and choose a topic for today uh, I don't agree with everything you say. This is one of my favorite things I hear in the comment section. Uh, why would that be one of my favorite things to hear in the comment section? I hear, I hear it on a regular basis. I don't agree with everything you say, but I really like most of it, or I really do resonate with some of it, right? Well, if you remember correctly, when, when I first started to chat, well, for those of you who've been with me for a long time, when I started this channel a long time ago, I, I made this sort of promise that I would only speak my truth, that I would never try to sway you to my truth, that I would never in any way, shape, or form tell you what you had to believe. You see, that lady in, my, in the background over here, my mom, she, uh, she told me when I was 18 years old that spirituality is a personal journey, and I've taken that to heart. Each one of us has to find our own path, our own journey. And I love when someone comes to me and says, I don't agree with everything you say, because that means they're using their own discernment. And I would say, um, if it doesn't agree with you, then it's not for you. And if it does agree with you, then see where it leads you. And it, you know, if, you, if it ends up being something you keep, keep. If it ends up being something you don't want or doesn't ring true later, get rid of it. I'm living my truth. I'm on my own spiritual journey. I'm just simply sharing it on this channel. And when I look at the idea of I don't agree with everything you say, it always makes me smile because I realize that person is taking control or, or responsibility for their own spiritual growth, their own spiritual journey. Um, and I never, I never judge or, or, or um, say anything harmful unless they're being fearful. And then I'll, I'll, I'll call out the fear. They're welcome to their journey. They're welcome to whatever they want to, however they want to go. I, I'm not in any way, shape, or form trying to sway, but I just don't want people to be fearful. I don't want people to be um, harming themselves by believing in fearful things. And so when I make a comment about what they're saying, it's not a judgment. People like to think I judge. I'm not judging them. I, if I hear something that, that I believe is harmful or fearful, I will say something, but I never tell them they have to change. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not my place or anybody's place to tell you what you're supposed to believe. That's the issue this, that we have in the world with religions, is they tell you you have to believe as they do. You have to accept their doctrines and dogmas. And if anybody else doesn't, then, then you should judge them for not believing as you do. And this, this isn't a, strictly a religious thing. 
New Age beliefs are the same way. People get very angry with me uh, when I go against a New Age belief, just like they do when I go against an Old Age belief. But once again, I'm not judging their beliefs. Someone the other day literally created a story around a video I made and was saying something like, how, you know, how dare you uh, mock those of us who would like our middlemen? And you said you don't like middlemen. That's right. I said I don't believe you need them. I believe what, what Jeshua taught. Jeshua taught, you know, you and the Father are one. He and the Father are one. He believed in our divinity. And so I, for me, don't think I need the middlemen. This person was very offended when I said that, that I was, she actually said I was mocking people for their belief in the middleman or their putting faith in the middleman. There was no mocking in any video I've made about that. I've not mocked anyone anywhere. You know, the people who, who lash out like that are lashing out not because of my beliefs, because of their beliefs. They don't believe that anyone should be able to speak contrary or believe something different than what they believe, and so they get defensive. And so the idea of this is, is that stay in the idea of I don't agree with it. You don't agree with everything I say. Please don't agree with everything I say. Because I'm, I'm just a guy, too, going through my own spiritual journey. And I think it's important that you find your way. And when you look at this, I don't, I don't agree with everything you say, that's amazingly powerful. It's amazingly powerful to, to say, I am in control. I, I am choosing my own, using my own discernment to find my way through life. That's a beautiful, beautiful spiritual statement. I don't believe everything you say. That's so good because it's so powerful. And only you, only you can be the one who does that. You're the only one who has the power to say, I don't believe that for myself. But the second you say, I don't believe that and you're a bad person for saying it, that's not, that's not my issue, that's yours. Because you don't believe it, I should be a bad person? No. That's because you're trying to say that your, your belief is right. Let go of being right. You can be right or you can be happy. You know, that's an old saying from somewhere. I know my ex-wife used to say it a lot. <laughs> um, um, and I, I, think we can, I think we can all find our own spiritual... And the Bible says, in my father's house there are many mansions. I believe if you find love and happiness, then, then that is your way. I had someone just the other day saying that um, you know, her finding Christ and, and living in Christ has made her so very happy. I think she's found her way, right? Had she said, finding Christ and living in Christ is happy and you should repent your sins and live in fear of God because you're going to burn in hell, then I would have had an issue. But this person did not say that. This person said, she is so happy. That's the only thing you're responsible for. Your own happiness. Let go of other people's beliefs. It's theirs. You know, if you're so focused on what somebody else is, is believing, being contrary to your own, then you're living their life and not your own. You're fighting against their life. And that's just, that's just wrong, in my opinion. And... Is that a judgment? Sure. It's a judgment that I believe trying to dictate or sway or subjugate somebody else is wrong. That's my belief. So that's my thought on this. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See you.